Hi everyone, welcome to Line Cloud 9. I'm Jacqueline Rose and you're watching My Thoughts Exactly. Today I'd like to talk about the hypocrisies in life. Uh, for example, if you're really, if you really want a relationship desperately, you unfortunately have a lot of trouble finding one. And if you're not interested in a relationship at all, they tend to fall right into your lap all the time and you know, this is the hypocrisy of life. So uh, let's jump into that. Basically what happens is if you think of what you're, you need in life and you're having trouble achieving, there's a likely cause and effect that you're accidentally creating that is causing your issue. And that is usually because of the hypocrisy of life. <laughs> so what I mean is uh, people who don't want relationships or aren't interested in relationships and just kind of focus on themselves tend to have a lot easier time trying to find a relationship um, or they're constantly turning them down. And people who have want a relationship really bad and can't seem to find the right relationship for them um, or one at all tend to accidentally create their own problem with having a relationship by wanting one. Um, so what happens is, for example, let's say uh, hypothetically I want a relationship. So I'm looking for a relationship and I'm trying to find somebody who will be good in my relationship with me. And I'm looking around and I'm you know, doing the things that it would take to search for a relationship, but I'm not focusing on myself. And so what happens is People see, you know, that someone who wants a relationship, who's single, who is looking, and they kind of evaluate you off of that. And they see that, you know, maybe since you need a relationship and you can't find one, that there's something wrong with you or, you know, something like that could could affect that. Now, let's go the opposite way and say hypothetically that I'm not interested in a relationship because I'm way too busy with what I'm doing here and I have a lot going on. And I'm really working on myself and helping improve, you know, different parts of me and my finances and my uh, overall life. Now everyone's interested in someone like that, right? So what happens is, um, ironically, you are more ideal to somebody when you're ignoring the urge to, need to be in a relationship and you're focusing on things in your life that you need to work on and need to improve and you improve those parts of your life. So the the reason that this is ironic is because you're not looking for a relationship, they're easy to find. You're looking for a relationship, they're really hard to find. And if you like dig really deep into why, you find out that there's an answer for all the hypocrisies in life. And they are, in this case, Looking for a relationship is not what you should be doing. Building yourself up to be the best version of yourself so that you are ideal to somebody who is also looking for a relationship, that's the pro approach you should have. I'm going to work on myself, focus on myself, exercise every day, feel good, take my dog on walks, uh, paint, um, do these hobbies, have these fun things, hang out with my friends, you know, meet new people. And all of a sudden people go, oh my goodness, this person is artistic and has a dog who, you know, does tricks or is really well behaved or, um, is a beautiful dog. Look, she loves her dog. Look, she, you know, has uh financially is is set up successfully uh knows where she wants to go in life has dreams and goals and aspirations and really loves herself you know wow that's attractive oh wow that that person's attractive you know versus the opposite this person feels lost needs somebody to pick them up and make their life the way that they think they need it to be which isn't true because let's go into this you are the reason that your life is the way it is. And I'll make another video on that as well. So, uh, you know, that's less attractive for somebody to think that they need a relationship in order to do all these things they love with their lives, right? So 
somebody who takes care of themselves and, and focuses on themselves and is doing well in their lives is a lot more attractive of a mate than somebody who is looking for somebody else to help them through their lives. And this doesn't just work for relationships. This hypocrisy and irony in life, it works everywhere in all parts of your life, you know, like monetarily, like home, like everything. And we give off an energy because we're all very psychic beings. We give off an energy and the universe also reads that energy and it gives you a response to that energy. And if you're constantly desperate, desperate for a relationship you know that's just my example i was using was relationships if you're constantly desperate for a relationship what ends up happening is the universe thinks you're looking and you're having a hard time looking and you're having a hard time looking because that's the energy you're giving out if you're content and in love with yourself the universe feels that energy instead and feels that you know there's no worry and concern about relationships so they become a lot easier to come by you know so uh, I hope that this helps somebody today. Uh, again, if, this, if you enjoyed this and you think this is helping you, please like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you think. Um, it helps me know that I should keep making these videos and um, you, know, you get to see what I do next. So <laughs> thank you kindly for joining me today. I hope your day is as beautiful as you are and I'll see you next time.